Great North Road is set in Newcastle and on St Libra, which is a planet orbiting Sirius. Uh, now Sirius is, is interesting in that it, it only has botanical life there. There are no uh, animals on, on St Libra. So when murders are committed, the person who's, who's suspected of doing them uh, always claims that the alien monster did it, which of course is an impossibility, so she's sentenced to, to life in jail. Then 20 years later, these murders start happening again. So the authorities have to find out once and for all if there is indeed an alien on St. Libra. And a huge government-sponsored ex expedition is, is sent there. Uh, there's billions of, of pounds spent on this. The military lead the scientific community out there. They go further into the unexplored areas of St. Libra. Um, and so much is riding on this that nothing can go wrong, at which point we begin our story. Great North Road took me about two years to write. Um, the first six months was all planning, research, going up to, to Newcastle to find out more about the city. The structure of the book is, is interesting in that it's not done by chapters, it's done by days. Um, each very specific day in 2143. Now, to get a calendar for 2143, I thought I could just fast forward the computer dates. Um, but no, it doesn't actually go up that far. So my, my dear wife had to sit down with a spreadsheet and actually work out what day Wednesday was uh, in the month and the year that I needed. So full credit to Kate. Thank you very much for that, dear. Great North Road is my first standalone for, I think, 10 years. Um, it, I just wanted a break from doing series um, and slogging away for, for four or five years on one story. Two years was, was a, actually quite a satisfying amount of time to do it in. It, um, it's concise in that the way the other books aren't, and that they always have to have um, some kind of cliffhanger ending. So when I finish this book, I know I've finished it for good. There'll be no going back to this universe. Um, which might sound a bit disappointing, but I was actually, it actually, from a writing point of view, it's very satisfying. 